What is going on, y'all? My name is Travis. I am here with another brand new show to me. Uh, this is going to be Bridgerton. This was requested and sponsored the whole season by Ruth. So shout out to Ruth. I appreciate you. Uh, I have heard a lot about this show. I've never seen it. I know it's super popular. I'm super excited to get into it. I have no idea what I'm getting into here. I haven't seen any trailers, previews, nothing. So without further ado, here we go, Bridgerton, Season 1, Episode 1. Let's go. Same, same person that brought us Grey's Anatomy, I think? Grosvenor Square, 1813. Dearest reader, the time has come to place our bets for the upcoming social season. Three misses foisted upon the marriage market like sorrowful sours by their tasteless... Tighter. Tactless, Mama. Far better odds might exist in the household of the widowed Viscountess Bridgerton. Oh. Oh, I am already roasting. I've complained the entire day, Eloise. Surely I cannot be expected to bear these fashions the entire day. Hot, oh, Gregory! Miss Aldea says they're still not ready. Oh, she's only been reading herself the entire night. You mean her entire life? I shall run upstairs and hasten her along. Are very perfect indeed. Ooh, shade, shady, of him yet? shade. Where is he, Benedict? I do not know. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. So. <laughs> okay then, bare ass and all. <laughs> I like the costumes. Today is a most important day, and for some, a terrifying one. For today is the day London's marriage-minded misses are presented to ah. Her Majesty, the Queen. Oh. Miss Philippa Featherington and Philippa. Miss Penelope Featherington. Oh. oh, she is shady. She does not look impressed, the Queen. Miss Daphne Bridgerton. Presented by her mother, the Right Honorable, the Dowager Viscountess Bridgerton. The Dowager Viscountess Bridgerton. Don't know what any of that means. What's a Dowager? It's pretty. Flawless, my dear. Oh, yes. But as we know, the brighter a lady shines, the faster she may burn. It has been said that of all bitches, dead or alive, a scribbling woman is the most canine. If that should be true, then this author would like to show you her teeth. <laughs> but be forewarned, dear. That's reader, Julie Andrews, right? Her I voice. Certainly know you. This sounds very Mary Poppins like. My success on the marriage mart influences all of your prospects. We will all need to find love one day. Says all here. Do not tell me that is yet another scandal sheet. No, 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 no. This one is different. This one lists subjects by name in full. Let me see. Wait. wait. What does it say, dearest? She loathes the fact that we've been named alphabetically oldest to youngest. Your father and I found it orderly. Lady Wissadon finds banality. The papers were banality. distributed across town today without charge. Without charge or what kind of all the... I should not be surprised if this whistledown is revealed to be Violet Bridgerton herself. These pages certainly report on the Viscountess's family with much indulgence indeed. Ladies, hurry with your miniatures before our guest arrives. And Penelope, put down that book at once. You shall confuse your thoughts. So, <laughs> tell me, I should gladly sit this season out. Penelope is quite nervous. This shall be her very first season. I am not nervous, Mama. You may wish to listen to her, my lady. Shepherding four young ladies through these endless rounds of affairs at the same time. Can you imagine the competition? Let us hope Miss Thompson is more presentable than the legions of unkempt animals she has spent her entire life tending to back home. Mm. <laughs> is that a mole on her cheek or... No. What is Remember that? Remember to be kind, ladies. It's pretty. She's beautiful. 
Gorge. Yes. Good afternoon, Lady Featherington. Featherington. Who is this? Snack. My condolences, Your Grace, for your father. Very kind of you. Kind of me? You hated the man. You must excuse the uh, disorderliness. As you know, I'm to host a ball this evening. Yes. I, I... have managed to keep the details of your return quiet. Oh, my quiet. God. When those vulgar mamas discover that there is an eligible duke present at tonight's fete. Well, I suppose a brief oh. Excellent. Great. You may leave that to flask you carry at home. Most undignified. Me, 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 me. <laughs> One day I shall seize oh. that watch and take oh. it apart. Y'all better be careful now. Then you Don't be moving too much. You might. Every time you disappear. Girl. Oh. Stay still they like today. showing the booties. You. I'm mad. <laughs> Every eligible lady of breeding dressed in some lavishly trimmed frock. Bloodthirsty mamas at their sides. <laughs> every woman is not afforded such gallant protection. Well, every woman is not a lady. Oh. Of course not, my lord. You have me protecting you too. The season's opening ball at Danbury House is a most highly sought after invitation indeed. Loud oh, music, that is funny. Tonight we shall discover Thank you, which next. young ladies might For whatever time period known this is. The spinster. Oh, I do love to Did we get an Ariana like Grande guest great, star Mary role? What year is this? Did it say at the beginning and I missed it? She's cute. To come to you, Dave. Lady Bridgerton. Bridgerton. I hope they keep doing that with the music. That's cool. Lord Bridgerton. If I recall, my lord, you had just won your first race at Newmarket. It's first and only, I believe. Ah! I haven't had the pleasure of seeing you at our club lately, Ambrose. Oh, girl, they loved their cyborgs the back then, didn't they? Winter. I did not realize. Well, how could you have done it? It is the very reason I'm here, sister. He is rather here to shuffle about hunting fortunes. Trust Mr. Lewis knows of your sizable dowry. Leave him be. I'll not have you making life with a poet, heaven forbid. <laughs> Nor an eccentric. My word. You continue to say we. Didn't Mama yes. tell you yet? About my tour? I'm to begin in Greece. Miss Bridgerton, you look rather lovely this evening. Who is that? I'm sure I've never seen her. She's Beautiful. rather dowdy, is she not? Dowdy. One of the Bridgerton boys is joining the swarm. What's Dowdy? Where one suitor goes, the rest will surely follow. Oh my god. Look at this. Beautiful. Cuban. That man's not an ant miniature. Make haste before he should see Miss Thompson. Featherington. Featherington is such a long last name, I cannot deal with it. Featherington. I'm quite parched. Then I shall fetch you a glass of lemonade. No. Tiny little things, are they not? The glasses, I suppose. Then the matter is settled. I'm not entirely sure the matter in which we discuss, my lord. My brother, he summons me. <laughs> I'd... Freeze Bridgerton! Kind of creepy there, bud. Oh. oh! Tell me your name. Your name, sir. Am I honestly to believe you do not already know my name? If you desire an introduction, madam, I do believe accosting me to be the least civilized of ways. Accosting you? What is your name? Bassett. Bassett! Bridgerton! Come here, old friend! I heard news of your father. Oh, the Duke of Hastings, is it? Hastings is a As son I am well aware of the Hastings, we shall need to get together properly. I expect to see you at our club then. Indeed. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm like. Not bothered. Yes, the most perfect thing for you to do now is not to dance, but to leave them all wanting more. If anyone knows how this works, it is your eldest brother. So she and the Duke are definitely going to get it on. You've right? already awakened. Anthony! I did not expect to see you here this morning. It is terribly early for you, dearest. Am I the first gentleman to arrive? How wonderful. 
Call us, ma'am, the Earl of Stafford and the Marquis of Finley. You would. Well, you should have my colorful fashions to thank. <clears throat> For a Miss Marina Thompson. I love the music, man. I love. It seems our diamond requires a closer inspection. Is there a problem? Lord Bridgerton. As such, an even rarer jewel of only the most remarkable brilliance, fire, and luster has been unearthed. <laughs> is Miss Marina Thompson. This author is left to wonder whether Her Majesty might reconsider the high praise she once afforded Miss Bridgerton. And the drawing room at Bridgerton House currently appears to be emptier than the muddled head of her dearest King George. Oh. It follows that Lady Featherington is to receive what she has always desired. The season's true incomparable living under her own roof. Has anyone else read what Lady Whistledown has written of late? Should anyone pay any heed to what Lady Whistledown writes of late? She's like a I gossip writer. Not. I believe that Anthony has already replied on our behalf, dearest. A caller for Miss Bridgerton. Oh. <laughs> the Lord Burbrook. I believe I should like to stay. I believe you should like to go. Forgive me for not calling sooner. I presumed your affections were already engaged. But now I know. And so, by heaven, your love may burn from the depths of my soul. Oh my god, that dress. That color. Wonderful, wonderful gentlemen. Thank you for your calls. I do not believe so. Good I like pen. that outfit. Oh, okay, okay. Lord Burbrick is harmless. There'll be others. You give far too much credit to some anonymous scribbler. These musings. They're not true. Only they are true, brother, and they are true because of you. You have no idea what it is to be a woman. What it might feel like to have one's entire life reduced to a single moment is all I am. I have no other value. That sucks. If I am unable to find a husband, I should be worthless. Daphne, you're a Bridgerton. That sucks. It would be easier if I were not. Ambitious mamas rejoice. For the new Duke of Hastings continues to grace our fair city with his presence. Well, thank you for and, that. Oh, it should be noted that the Duke has been overheard announcing to mamas everywhere that he has no plans of ever marrying. Are well, you truly not planning on taking a place in society? I can't the Duke stop. Stop. As far as I'm concerned, will end with me. But Hastings, you, you can't stop calling me that. Is your plan to fuck her forever? Your mistress. Oh. You shall need sire and heir. It has reached my ears that Mr. Colin Bridgerton shall be awarded the year's grand prize when he sweeps Miss Thompson off her pretty little slippered feet. Featherington. In other news, a most peculiar suitor for Miss Daphne Bridgerton has emerged. We look at just the two of us. Oh, God. Yet again. Lady Bridgerton. Do join us. Your Majesty, good evening. You must remember my daughter, Daphne. Yes. I would like to welcome you both to my box this evening. Oh, I to your box. Insist. Welcome to my box. I know that wasn't as dirty as it sounded, but... And I suppose that you can withstand such scrutiny, since he is, after all, a man. His grace was fortunate to have you there with him as a child, after what happened to his mother. Awful. Matches have certainly been made with far less. What are you suggesting? Perhaps we need to help her to see things a bit more clearly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it rather obvious that the writer is Lady Danbury. Lady <laughs> Danbury enjoys sharing her insults with society directly. You have yet to read what was it on rights of the Featheringtons, little sister. We like each other. Delicious. <laughs> Most of the time. Snacky. You should join us more often, Your Grace. Perhaps when we travel to our country seat, you would be most welcome. You appear displeased. Do I? We find ourselves seated beside each other, Miss Bridgerton. Your Grace, it would be better if you refrained from thinking about me at all. Oh. Even one of your reputation. You are aware of my reputation. I'm aware of your friendship with my eldest brother. Clearly, arrogant most definitely. You are a rake. Gorgeous, definitely. Tell me I'm wrong. Desperate. Ooh. I shall have you Ooh. to marry. No, Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> She's like all in it. <laughs> Hastings, I'm so glad you decided to join us this evening. However could I have declined? You must stay for dessert. 
It's gooseberry pie, your grace. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, y'all are shady. Shady shade. Shade, shade, shade. It will not work. I can think of worse matches for Daphne than a duke. Even if you were in want of a wife, you would most certainly not have the duke anywhere near Daphne. I am fully subscribed to the belief that reformed regs make the very best of us. You will not make her happy. And I know, I know you think you are solving the problem, but you are not. Period. Period. Are you to return to your bachelor lodgings across the square, or will you pay a visit to a certain soprano that you tend to in an apartment that you pay for on the other side of town, relying on your younger brothers to one day do the job that you cannot? She knows of duty? about duty. Pray tell, what should you know of it? Mistress. So you must ask yourself, are you merely an older brother, or are you the man of this house? Oh! Oh! Ah! He's pretty attractive, too. He lies to me, my lord. You shall leave. Oh! Be it shame or slander, seduction or smear, there is but one thing that humbles even the most highly regarded members of our dear Ton. A scandal. Might one former diamond's recent fall from grace turn out to be the most damning scandal of all? I, I did not know you would be here. Sorry to disappoint. <laughs> These two are cute. Have you seen Miss Thompson? She is ill. I believe you owe me a dance this evening. And I have only one more space remaining on my card at present. How convenient. <gasps> I'm afraid I cannot offer you that dance, Miss Cowper. Uh -huh. I have to escort Miss Featherington to the floor. Aww. That's what you get. Half fuck. Resemblance is remarkable. You look just like him. He's probably like, great. That's what I love to hear. Madam. Yes. Farley. <clears throat> ah. Lord Burbrook's barony is over 200 years old. His lineage is legitimate. He's had an excellent education, possesses no debts, never hurt an animal or a woman, and is even a decent shot. Nigel. I had to find your husband, sister. Now, be grateful it is done. I will not hear of this. What's up with her? You haven't bled. It's been over a month since your arrival. And you haven't bled. I suppose I should be happy. And if it were guaranteed that my own ladies would not be affected by your revolting recklessness, I would be. Do you even know who the father is? Did you think I wanted to come here? To be around people like you, so out of touch, so superior. Hell no. Hell no. Nigel, not now. Nigel? We to drop the honorific so soon. I will never marry you. I'm sure you're great. My brother, he... Just not feeling He made that. a mistake. I'm your last hope. No one wants you as Bridget. Get your hands off her, bro. Stop it! Go with me! Oh, she don't need no man. She don't need your sexy ass to come no help her. Intention. Yes. I must say I'm impressed. You are coming from the Dark Walk. It is merely a few steps away. What would you know? The Dark Walk is merely a few steps away. And I am alone with two men. Any idea what would happen if someone even suggested that I... I must go. If I'm unable to secure another offer, there may be no alternative. Unlike you, I cannot simply declare I do not wish to marry. I know what this Lady Whistledown has written. Trust I possess as much contempt for the author as you do. That's I right. must go this way. Good face. You through those trees. Perhaps there is an answer. To our collective Lady Whistledown issue. Y'all get married and you don't even want to? You don't even like each other, but you're not even like attracted to each other? I mean, how could you not be? I mean, look at him. Look at him. You must know men are always interested in a woman when they believe another, particularly a duke, to be interested as well. Oh. Closer. Okay, yes, sir. Sad plan. I find it quite brilliant. Provided you do not wish to marry me. I do not wish to marry you. Till y'all actually fall in love. Lose. For yes. whose 
not in attendance at the Vauxhall celebration, you missed the most remarkable coup of the season. How the young miss secured her newfound suitor is yet to be determined. Yours truly, Lady Whistledown. I thought that was freaking awesome. Uh, not okay. So the Duke is like, fun, like, holy shit, gorgeous. So like, obviously you have my attention with that. But I'm a little like weary, wary when it comes to um, like period shows because I find that they can be sometimes kind of boring and that they don't really hold your my attention very well. I have ADD, but that definitely like held my attention. I love um the cast. I love the costuming. I think that the music is cool. I love like the the orchestration takes on the the current songs. I love hearing that throughout the show. Um, and I just think it was like scandalous and juicy and and good right from the right from the right from the jump. That first episode was awesome. I can't wait to see more. Let me know what y'all thought about this one. Shout out to Ruth for suggesting the show for sponsoring the first season. And hopefully y'all will join me on the next episode. Bye.